SportsNola.com at the Women's Final Four Legacy Press Conference, visiting with Tulane Athletic Director Rick Dixon. And, and Rick, I think the the operative word that, that came out of today's message is, you know, is that legacy. And unlike maybe brick and mortar and things like that, it was really about getting the youth of New Orleans to participate and be a part of this event. That seemed to be the overarching theme that uh, that we heard today, and it's a, it's a terrific message. Yeah, I, I totally concur, Lenny, as that's, that's really become the focus of the NCAA with all of its championships. And and I think uh, we were able to demonstrate that over the last two years. That was uh, something we really embraced in being the whole school and the and the whole city was that we knew that bringing these championships here could create such a long-lasting legacy and imprint on the youth, whether it was about, as we heard, whether it was education, whether it was fitness, whether it was service back to their community, and all those are great attributes that uh, that we all believe in. And, and that's really the reason we're all here today is the fact that all of us – collectively pulled together and uh, not only pull off an event like this but you know we can look at each other and say we rebuilt rebuilt our city together you and the 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 team the local organizing committee which we should say it's not just Tulane but it's the Greater New Orleans Sports Foundation the All-State Sugar Bowl a a a three-headed effort if you will you guys pulled this off now four years in a row hosting NCAA basketball championship events that's a heck of a run. It really is. That, that in, you mentioned it. There was a, the NCAA came in in a time when they didn't necessarily have to come to New Orleans you know, in, the, in the three or four years after Hurricane Katrina and awarded these events to New Orleans, showing a great deal of confidence in what this city could do. You know, it was interesting to hear Anuka Brown, who's the, the vice president of championships for the NCAA, talk about that. And I think she said something that's really uh, pivotal in this whole thing. Five years ago, is when these uh, bids were awarded. So that's 2008, and all of us still remember how, you know, just fundamentally o- overwhelming uh, the work that we all had to do together just to really uh, get through the day-to-day part of our lives and rebuilding our lives, our schools, our community, our businesses, every aspect of our lives. And uh, and, I, and I would tell you, in both instances of... Um, making those, uh, you know, our, our uh, bid uh, to the NCAA committees is that was something that was talked about was how can our organization, the NCAA, that we're all a member of, help impact this monumentous rebuilding effort in New Orleans? And so I think they heard that message loud and clear. They responded to it. And what I'm so proud of and, and we were able to recognize here today is how everyone, as you mentioned, from from the you know three primary groups of Sugar Bowl, of uh, the New Orleans Sports Foundation and Tulane, along with the city and all of our youth uh, and different agencies stepped up to, to make this a huge success, just as it was last year with the men's. Women's Final Four kind of capped off an amazing run for this city in terms of hosting events. From the college end of thing, you 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 ready to to start partaking in the next cycle of events? You know, you know they tell me that we better get ready because the uh, bid process uh, begins again next fall. So uh, we will because it's the right thing as we've seen at a critical time in our history. Uh, but we've got a great history uh, associated with these events, Lenny, and we want to uh, we'll continue that effort. And I know our groups will come together. I'm very proud, uh, you know, of, of the. I would tell you what's happened over the last couple of years. And as you said, you can include in that the work that the uh, Sports Foundation and the Saints did in securing the, sugar, uh, the uh, Super Bowl. But just, you know, a run of events that most cities don't ever see in a lifetime. And we saw it in such a condensed time frame. And so I'm very proud of, of everyone that pulled together to make this happen for our city. And uh, knowing all the cast of characters involved, I, I wouldn't... Uh, I wouldn't surprise to meet to see us pull together and make another great run and a great successful effort. I have no doubt either. New Orleans hosts these events better than anyone else in the world, not just America. That's Rick, right. thanks thanks for the time. Stay with us here at sportsnola.com as we bring you all the stories behind all the big events in New Orleans.